And we're back. Hey guys, welcome to Focus on Fair Lectures. Today we are going over lateral ligament sprain. What structures are injured in a lateral ligament sprain? It often occurs when the ligaments, known as the anterior talofibular ligament, which is considered the weakest of the three ligaments, the calcaneofibula and posterior posterior fibula ligaments are stretched beyond their limits and tear. If a person has repeated ankle sprains, it can lead to long-term problems including ankle pain, arthritis, and ongoing instability. The ligaments in the ankle help to keep the ankle in position and stabilize the joint. What is the mechanism of injury? So there's a few different mechanisms of injury or the etiology, what causes it. So walking or exercising on an uneven surface, falling, sports activities that require cutting actions or rolling and twisting of the foot. Twisting or rolling to the side and landing unbalanced from a jump. Clinical features or signs and symptoms include swelling, ankle pain, bruising, tenderness to touch, instability of the ankle, which may occur when there has been a complete tear of the ligament or a complete dislocation of the ankle joint, trouble walking or standing on the foot, and or you may get a high ankle sprain to the tibiofibula ligament and the syndesmosis. Treatment. So there's a few different treatments that you can possibly use. There is price, which is protect, rest, ice, compress, and elevate. You can use joint moves or joint mobilizations, a grade one or two for pain. You want to target the mechanoreceptors, the A beta fibers, and this can potentially help. The joint moves can help with uh, joint range of motion. You can potentially incorporate massage, which will reduce the swelling and restore joint proprioception and balance, as well as increase the blood flow and lymphatic nerve drainage at the site of injury. And you can potentially use inferential therapy. I would say definitely look into these prior to using these on the patients because you want to consider the contraindications that the patient may have. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed. If you have anything that you want to add to the end of this video or if you have any information, you can comment down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.